Oh, my most valuable asset's a little cropped. I know. Dang it. Dang it. Gonna have to. You know what? Ah, this is better. Just gonna have to make do, huh? What are we talking about today? As you can see, the title of today's lecture is Girlfriends 101. We cover a lot of topics here in class. Furries, anime, furries again, Pokemon, back to the furries. However, some students are familiar with this, while some other students are more familiar with this subject, and we do a lot of crossover here. Not everyone knows everything. However, today's lecture is very different because I know for a fact this is something that maybe 99% of you have no idea anything about, have had no experience with this. This is why this lecture in particular is a very special one. If you are yourself, consider yourself a girlfriend. Uh, don't think you're off the cuff. Is that even the right saying? Is that what people say, off the cuff? Don't think you're off the... Don't think you're getting off scot-free. There's some valuable information. Off the hook. Off, off the hook. Don't think you're off the hook here because there's, there's some valuable information you need, to, you need to hear too. What is a girlfriend, right? Girlfriend, what, what, is, what, what is that? You might be somewhat familiar with the term, but like, you know, you know what the moon looks like, but have you ever been to the moon? No, you know, could you really say you know what the moon is? You just believe what other people tell you about the moon. Very much is the case with girlfriends. A girlfriend is a female friend, acquaintance, or partner with whom one is platonically, romantically, physically, spiritually involved with. This normally signifies a committed relationship. Um, I, I wanna state that I just gave you the classical interpretation of a girlfriend being a female friend, uh, companion, you know, romantic, physical, whatnot, but it's 2021. The context has changed. Technology has changed. And in the context of my lesson, my lecture, when I refer to a girlfriend, I am referring to, very important here, the essence of a girlfriend, not bound by gender, either boy or girl. When we talk about girlfriends in the context of my class, I really wanna stress that it is the amorphous role of a girlfriend. There is a role that one partner can fill that can be generally said, generally fit into this, this broad term of girlfriend. Uh, what do I mean by that? I, you do not need to be a girl to be a girlfriend. And just because you are a boy doesn't mean you cannot be a girlfriend. Does that make sense? Professor Lando, tr you know, you talk about the role of a girlfriend. What exactly are you talking about? We can start with these two. Physical, spiritual. Again, we're, we're talking about this for the sake of explaining to 99% of Twitch chat that has never been familiar with what a girlfriend is. Um, many of you have never heard or participated in this act. It is an act, a physical act. Cuddles. Uh, what are we talking about? Cuddle, cuddles, cuddles. What is that? You might be asking. M you might think of it simply as like a, 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 an, a hug. So cuddling. Uh, you know, a very, you know, I guess just, just because we need some basis, some foundation to work off of that you are able to relate to, we can say that. Let, let's just say that for the sake of this discussion that a cuddle is a more involved hug. For most people, a hug is just not simply enough. A cuddle specifically, it's sort of like a detoxification process. When you hug someone, it's just like, all right, bro, I'll see you later. You know, your, your best friend. All right, that was good. Yeah, it was a good movie. See ya. You know, hug. Oh, it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Come here, hug. Right? You know, you might do this, like like a little, you know, like this kind of action. But but a, a cuddle is a, is a is way more. It's 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 like when your shoulders, you go through life and life is just it shits on you. Life is so hard. You family problems and people bothering you. Shit, work sucks and you're just like this all the time. Just 
<sighs> and then you, you know, a hug, at the, this, this thing here, a hug is not going to solve this. Hey, bro, want a hug? Sure. Yeah, that was fucking great. What is that? There? But a cuddle, like Michelangelo sculpting David, it, it, it lets you go, oh. Right? It, it helps alleviate. It's, you think of a cuddle as a more involved hug that activates some sort of relief of pressure. It might seem all nice. You might think, oh, you might think, oh, I want that. I want that. That sounds nice. I think, you know, and I think that's the root of it. A lot of the whole idea conceptually of a girlfriend that is, has gripped society is that that sounds nice, but it's never enough. It doesn't matter if you cuddled the day before. It doesn't matter if you cuddled that morning. She needs cuddles now. We cuddled yesterday night, yesterday morning, the night before, the morning before, and the day before that. We're gonna cuddle tonight. We're gonna cuddle tomorrow morning. We're gonna cuddle probably throughout the day, multiple times. There's cuddling happen here, and cuddling happen there, but it's never enough. If they don't get their cuddles, me as a normal person, I have needs, right? I, I need to have fun, eat, I need shelter, pursue happiness, I, I need Pokemon cards. But the, the girlfriend has this, it's scary, this, 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 pit, this pit right here. Never, this void that no matter how much, how much, it's never enough, never enough. And if, if you're unable, there's not enough resources in the world to fill this, this hole. And if, heaven forbid, you just need to, you know, you need to work on something. You need to work on something, just, you get the angry, you get the sass. Ah. So that, that's part one, physical. Uh, spiritual. Are you a big Marvel fan? Are you a big DC fan? Do you like movies? Do you like going to the movies? You like enjoying? You like sitting down and enjoy? You like watching the movie? Well, that's about to change. Be prepared while you're watching to be asked, what's going on? Who is that? Why are they doing that? Why, why, why are they doing the thing? I don't know. Let's watch and find out. I'm watching it the same time you are. I don't know. Let's find out what's gonna happen by watching the movie in silence. That's, that's the point. You watch, you don't know what happens and things happen and you watch and you sense eyes, brain, and then you come, oh, you understand as it progresses. Expect disappointment and you will never be disappointed. Um, let, let's circle back to physical. Sleep, what am I talking about? Sleep, you might be asking Professor Lando, don't, sleep is simple, you simply sleep. Oh, no. Doesn't matter what time it is. It's 7 p.m. Bedtime. I'm, on the, I'm with the boys, I'm, huh? Bedtime, 7 p.m. I don't care if it was 4 p.m. in the afternoon, it's time for bed. Okay, well you go to bed then. No, that's not how it works. It means that it's time for both of you to go to bed. You know, you know, actually, you know, yeah, you know what? Actually, that, that might sound fine. That actually sounds fine, let's do it. Let's go to bed. I can, you know, relax. We can watch a movie together. We can talk about our day. We can, you know, cause at the end of it, I do enjoy spending time with my girlfriend. She's asleep in two minutes. You're stuck there for hours with your thoughts wide awake, like some sort of like CIA torture. You're, you're like strapped in the bed. And that's the other thing. This is the bed. And you're like, wait, Professor Lando, that does not look like a bed. Yes, you would be correct. When you don't have a girlfriend, your bed might as well be like this. That's you without a girlfriend. Uh, when you acquire a girlfriend, your bed somehow turns into this, right? This is a graphical interpretation of uh, what bed space is allotted per person. Um, as you can see by the key here, GF standing for girl for the end is the red. And you might not be able to see it. You might not be able to see it, but right here, here is your space. This is sort of embarrassing. We don't like to talk about this much. See someone with a girlfriend, everyone's arms, one of them at least you know is a fake arm. You've ever seen Full Metal Alchemist? You know how Ed has like the auto male arm? Prosthetics have come a long way. Eventually the circulation's cut off. You know, like that movie with James Franco, 27 Hours, I think, where he, he like falls and the rock falls and he has to like, 
uses a spoon. He has to like, you have to do that to escape. And everyone has done it like a trapped rat. The third category, food. You know, you're driving. What do you want to eat? I don't know. I don't know. If you ever find yourself in this situation with a girl for your end, you, you want to do this. Present to them the illusion of choice. Say, do you want to eat at pho or sushi? Two options. You pick one. Pick two. It's just flip a coin if you have to. Flip, flip a coin. There's just two options. You can pick, right? Don't give them like, where do you want to eat? It's two. It's two. They're like, I, uh, oh, 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 too much. Too much. Here is a classic scenario that I need you to prepare yourself for in case you ever encounter this in the wild. Go eat in and out. All right, I'll have a double double with fries. Okay, uh, anything for you? Yeah, I want. I'll have a double double. You don't. You don't want fries? No, I don't want fries. This is the moment. I don't know what I want to eat. I don't know. I don't want any fries. No, they know exactly what they want to eat, and they definitely want some fries. I would rather pay more to get extra fries that we don't even eat a single fry than for you to have even one of mine. I will incur that cost. This is game theory here. I'm working it out. Checkmate from the beginning. I have to play 4D chess in my head to keep up with this. I also want to say, a lot of people say, not this specifically, but this general sentiment. Man, like I just can't find anyone that, want, that like loves me for who I am. Maybe because who you are kind of fucking sucks. If at your core, you're a little bit of a loser, that's okay. You don't have to be some sort of Sigma male giga chad. Maybe you should just start with the basics. Get a fucking haircut. You don't have to become this ultra chiseled giga chad, but just work out like a little bit. Just go for a fucking walk. I don't know why I can't just find someone to love me for who I am. They're like a job of the hut as creature. Ah, you know, just baby steps. You know, instead of five hours of League of Legends a day, how about four, right? And you get a four and then three, right? And then two, and maybe it's every other day, right? It's okay. You don't have to go to zero. Just, you know, let's, let's just, let's just like, let's take some little baby steps, right? Or have a huge cock. Either one of those options. The second option is usually a harder to come by option. Mm -hmm.